everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pearl pour, kind of like the ones I've been doing lately, um, using the gold, pale gold uh, by Modern Masters is my pour over. I did quite a few of these a few weeks back and I'm just getting the videos out. Um, this one, I did give the recipes for the pearl cells at the beginning there for the white pearl cells as well as the uh, the color pearl cell and then this is the recipe for the pour over colors and the Dutch pour colors that I'm going to use so if you didn't catch them head back you can pause it and take a screenshot it's pretty easy uh, and those recipes are also in the description box so I've been playing around with these pour over colors the modern masters pour over colors uh, because I really have been loving how they've been purling lately. Um, this one, actually, uh, when I poured the paint on, I realized that my pour-over colors, that gold, is a little bit thick, and it's not really moving very quick. And you see on that left in the bottom portion there where the pearls are already starting to pop through, um, usually... I don't mind if they start popping through, but if my paint is moving really slow, those will tend to get wonky. So I wasn't loving that, but I think I was able to salvage it by getting that paint off quick enough and then moving the paint from that edge that I just tilted off back towards the center. We see the pearls are starting to pop through all the way around. So then I just set it down and I let it develop. Uh, these pearl paintings can take up to like 45 minutes to an hour to keep developing. The pearls will keep popping through. So you kind of have to be patient, especially if, they, especially if you're doing a Dutch pour on them. You'll want to wait like 15, 20, 25 minutes to see where the pearls pop through, um, which is what I did here. You see that I do have my fluid art experience, a uh, little coin floating there. Uh, I will be at the Fluid Art Experience teaching this technique and others um, in Seattle, Washington, April 27th through 29th, I believe. So go check out fluidartexperience.com, that website for tickets. Now here in this Dutch pour portion, I did one similar to this one a couple of weeks back and um, I used Payne's Gray as my color that I put down first and I didn't think it was going to work out so then I decided to switch things up on this one and go with that custom bluish greenish color as the base and then uh, the the modern master's gold the TLP ballet slipper I do have a video on how I mix my pigments for uh, a Dutch pour and for my pour over colors. Uh, I did go off of um, some information in uh, a golden um, on their website on how to make paint because I felt like when I was just using the uh, Liquitex pouring medium, I was losing my pigments and I didn't wanna lose the pigments because you spend a lot on them. I wanted to be able to use them and make them show up in my Dutch pours. So if you are interested in how I mix my pigments for Dutch pours and for basically for making paint, and you can use it in whatever pour you want, you can check out that video. I will link it above here as well as in the description box. So here's the wet results. Um, loving these multicolored pearls. Uh, they're pretty cool. This one did continue to sell for quite a while afterwards. So I think this was maybe like, I want to say like almost an hour after I finished uh, painting this one. Uh, I did see that those pearls did continue to develop. They did continue to get larger all the way into my Dutch pour portion. So, and here it is dry. So even after I had stopped filming uh they did continue to pearl uh, but it dried beautifully i love how that gold peeks through um, as that pour over color it really is so pretty and it gives those pearls kind of a 3d look which is really cool 
So there is the dry results for you guys. Um, got some other stuff coming up uh, in some future videos, but uh, all my paintings are for sale. Um, if they aren't on the website and you see something on a video you're interested in, just give me an email. But um, yeah, you can check out my website for uh, what I have um, for sale. So thanks for again, again for joining me and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.